this is Jackie Phillips, and I'm going to walk you through how to do step-by-step -step eye makeup on a hazel brunette. I would like to just keep it very simple for you guys. Um, I'm going to use a palette that just has three colors, so you can do a day look or a night look. If you want to do a day look, you can use this light color. And what you're going to do is, I like a brush like this when you're doing your first application, because you're going to put it all over your eye. So basically you're just gonna go all over your eye and this allows some highlight under the brow as well. Make sure you blend really good because you want it to be seamless. And don't be afraid to use your fingers to blend it in a little more. I always do a little in here too because there's always a little discoloration in here from our veins. So this way it gives you a little highlight of the you know, discolored pigmentation. You always want to do your other eye as well. I like to do both so you're playing with even playing fields so you know what to do and when to do it. Then, if this is just your office look, so you're going to work look, just use the little bit of the lighter color for the contour. You don't want to go like too dark for your day look. You can always mix them together too. And basically, you just want to, I always like to look in the mirror so I can see where the contour really needs to go. I mean, that's a good way to judge. So you're just going to, and I always flick the brush a little where you can tap it to get rid of extra eyeshadow on it. And you just basically go in your contour right here. And then that really brings out the eye. And then do your other eye. And that's it. I mean, that's a good day look for work. If you want to amp it up a little bit, you could use a little bit of eyeliner. Um, a pencil liner is easy. You know, just kind of go along your lash line. Bring it out a little, depending on how thick you like it, you know. That's all your judgment. And then if you really want to be a little dramatic at work, you could do just a little underneath, and that brings out the eye. Depending on your eye shape, you're going to line your eyes a certain way. If you have almond eyes, you're going to kind of do how I did and just follow the line. If you have a little more small eyes, maybe just bring the line, especially underneath, to the middle. Um, and then you can use this lighter color right here. And I'm going to show you. And you can highlight inside your eye. And that always brings the eye more open. And that's pretty easy. I mean, it's just like two taps on the brush. And see, it just like totally opens the eye and it brightens it. It's a great day look. Now, if you want to do your evening look for work, like you know you're going out with your friends or whatever, I would like to use this darker color. And then you can like create that smoky, sultry look, you know, to go have drinks with your friends or whatever. Um, with hazel eyes, I like to use plums. Browns are nice. Um, you know, you could use a version of blue, but when I use blue on myself, I mean, I have hazel eyes, I always mix it with a brown just so you have that warm undertone so it does complement the hazel. And basically, just kind of pretty much go over your whole lid and then give yourself that smoky look. Now, any mistakes you make, you know, like I said, use your finger, use a Q-tip, whatever, to get rid of it. And then to really make it pop, you want to do an eyeliner on the inside of your eye as well, which I'm going to show you here in a second. And then you're going to have your perfect night look in like literally just a few minutes. Now look at this now, and then look what happens if you do a little eyeliner on the inside, it really makes the hazel stand out. 
and your eyes almost turn into tiger eyes and you have that yellow effect. So see ladies, you can have day and night all in just a few minutes.